Problem 14 is about equivalent graphs. Take a look at the graph on the left. This is one of the most poorly drawn graphs I have seen. Because look what happens. These edges looks like they merge before they get to vertex D. The same for vertex P. That's not what's going on on this graph. They don't really merge. They're not supposed to. For problem 14, they want us to explain why these two graphs, the one on the left and the one on the right, are equivalent. They're equivalent if they have the same vertices connected in the exact same manner. On the first one, I have D, G, P, K, P. On the second one, D, G, K, P. Same vertices were good. Or they connected in the same way. I'm going to work from the one on the right. The one on the right has an edge from D to K. Does the one on the left have an edge from D to K? Yes. Maybe I want to number those edges. The numberings don't mean anything in particular. It's just that they're accounted for. I'm, uh, they do mean this. I'll put the corresponding edges with the same number. The one on the right has an edge from D to P. The one on the left, we'll call that edge number two. D to P. The one on the left has that as well. D to K. I'll call that edge number three. D to K, oh, I said it wrong. D to G. D to G is edge number three. And then the fourth edge, G to P, we have that one. And that takes care of all the edges in both graphs. So they're equivalent. This question, not only is this graph just terrible looking, what we're about to select is terrible as well. Why are the two graphs equivalent? Select all that apply. Part A, the <coughs> vertices are connected in the same way. That is very true. I'm going to write very true, which sounds a little silly. But I'm going to write that because of the way this question's worded and what they're wanting you to do. This one you're going to definitely select. Part B, the graphs have the same number of edges. They both have four edges. This is true. But this is not a condition of equivalent graphs. I can show you graphs that have four edges that are not equivalent to this graph. In fact, in the choices below, there's four graphs that all have four edges. No, no, B does not. D does, four edges. See, this one has four edges. But this one's not equivalent to the ones we're looking at. So this condition by itself is not something that would specify equivalent graphs. But you know what? The computer's expecting you to select that, and if you don't, it's going to mark it wrong. Part C, the graphs have a number of edges that matches the number of vertices. That's true. Each graph has four of each. Four edges and four vertices. Don't select that. We don't want that one. Nor does the computer expect you to select that one. It's a true statement, but that has nothing to do with equivalent graphs. True, but nothing to do with equivalent graphs. 
I'll just write with the question. The last one, the, vertice, the graphs have the same number of vertices. Well, look at these four pictures again. They all have four vertices. Does that mean graphs are equivalent? No. But the computer wants you to select that one as well. I would have only selected part A. Last year when I worked this problem for the first time, I only selected part A. And a student raised her hand and she said, computer's marking that wrong. Let's look at the uh, last part of this one. Draw a third equivalent graph. Choose the correct answer below. Well, A, A only has three edges, so we count that one out. B has five edges. C has four edges, four vertices. The vertices are labeled the same with the same letters. Let's see my edge number one up here, K to D. I have that one. That's edge one. D to P is edge two. D to G is edge three. And P to G is edge four. There it is. It's C. 